Thanks for tuning in. This is the Pet Deck, P-E-T-D-E-K, from a company called Car Deck. And uh, there goes our Chocolate Lab Sadie and our Beagle Mix Molly. Um, so this is basically a car seat platform for dogs. Um, you can see the plastic deck here. Um, there's a carpet cover. So I'm going to um, flip that over for you. You can see that there's a rubber mat underneath that provides uh, some stability so that when you're driving and the carpet's not sliding all around on your dog. And then underneath that is this plastic um, platform. The plastic platform you can see down here has two legs, one on either end, um, and those legs can be adjusted to different heights to keep it flat. And the pet deck provides a um, eight square foot level space for your dog to sit instead of uh, having to sit in the car seat and, uh, you know, obviously they rec are reclined and um, they are positioned for the human body, not the canine body. Um, so this provides that kind of stationary level spot for your dog so they'll be more comfortable. It doesn't block the vents or anything. You can see, um, I'm going to put the carpet back. Um, and you can see there's a small gap here. If you wanna take a look on our website, topdogtips.com, I've done an extensive written review there, and you can see uh, how the seatbelt buckle fits in there. Now, our vehicle, um, you can still access the seatbelts but it's a little bit more difficult to access the belt buckle uh, with the the pet deck versus just obviously a traditional seat or seat cover. Um, usually pet seat covers have those little slits, the little slots where you can get the buckle through to access it. Um, so I can still access it, it's just a little bit more difficult. Speaking of uh, the fit of the card, uh, the pet deck, you, my seats are adjustable. We have a 2006 Nissan Pathfinder. So the seats, the back seats are adjustable. I've slid them up as far as they can go. So it kind of uh, squishes the pet deck in between the seats and kind of holds it stable. Um, I've also pushed the passenger seat back as far as it can go. So it, it just sort of holds it there where it needs to be. If your seats aren't adjustable, there may be a gap either back here or in the front between the front seats and the pet deck. The company just recommends putting a pillow or some blankets in there uh, to stay stabilize it and to, to close in that gap so your dog doesn't fall into it. Um, but as I mentioned, it doesn't block any of the vents. I can still access the seat belt buckles. They say that it fits virtually any four-door vehicle. Obviously, some of them, it's going to be uh, a little short on the sides here, or like I said, you'll have those gaps in the front, and they recommend just stuffing blankets or pillows uh, to make up for that, but it, it fits our large. This is a seven-passenger SUV, and it fits it perfectly. I love it. Um, if you have a bigger vehicle where you have those gaps, that could be a little bit annoying, but, uh, it, you know, it's still, you can still work around that. As I mentioned, the non-sliding carpet, uh, you can see how easy that pulls up and it's a little extra long so it just tucks in there. I can't do it. I can't lift it up now that Sadie's on it. But um, the carpet is machine washable and then that plastic base underneath you can just spray off with the hose if your dog has an accident or anything and you need to clean that. Um, it installs and removes in less than a minute. Uh, the pet deck, when it's unfolded like it is right now, it's 23 inches wide by 48 inches long and it is 2 inches deep or two inches high. Um, it also folds in half. So those little legs that I mentioned on the end, uh, this leg here folds in, the leg on the other side folds in, and then the pet deck folds in half. So when it's folded down, it's 23 inches wide, it's four inches thick, and then it's only 24 inches long. So you can throw it in the trunk or store it in the garage when you're not using it pretty easily. It only weighs 12 pounds, so it's easy to take in and out if you're going to be traveling or you have kids that are, uh, you know, getting in the back seat sometimes. It's really lightweight and easy to transport in that way, but it can support up to 200 pounds. So for a multi-pet family, um, as I, you just saw, our lab and our beagle fit on it very comfortably, and it supports them just fine. Um, the biggest drawback to the pet deck is the price. It's $134.95 on Amazon right now. If you don't travel with your dog frequently, 
Obviously, that expense probably isn't going to be a very good value for you. But if you take your dog with you a lot, um, there Sadie goes. She's snuggling in there, and she's really comfortable. She's flat instead of, you know, if if I didn't have the pet deck in there, she'd be kind of um, curled up in the seat, in the back of the seat where the seats reclined a little bit. So I think she's more comfortable. It's It definitely would be beneficial for dogs with stability issues, um, dogs with any kind of, you know, arthritis, hip and joint problems, uh, balance issues. You know, I think the stability of the pet deck would be a little bit better for them. But um, if you don't take your dogs for rides frequently, obviously the price isn't going to be worth the value. Um, but if you think that this is a product that you might use, you can email me with any questions that you have. I'd be happy to answer those for you. Thanks for tuning into this video review.